I remember one day y'all, come on in, come on in. Thank y'all for coming. Uh, I remember, oh my gosh, it's been so long ago. But I remember one day Jamie making us uh, cheeseburgers in puff pastry. So that's what I'm fixing to make us. And they are really, really tasty y'all. In fact, I, I think I remember Jamie making them on when we were visiting Shop HQ one time. All right, I'm putting some just steak sauce, your choice. Onions. And house seasoning. And then I'm just gonna mix this up with my hands real good. And we're gonna put these in the air fryer and we're gonna cook them for about 10 minutes. We kinda want our our burger is mostly done before we wrap them in our pastry. Because we don't want to uh, bite into our, our biscuit and it be Rare. raw. <laughs> I'd say it'd be about raw. All right, so Eddie, I think I'm gonna make ours about that size. I think Jamie might've made them even smaller. But uh, I think that's what I'm, I'm gonna do here. And I have to tell you the rub that you used uh -huh. for <clears throat> a guy that I work with at Disney, his name was, is Johnny Rivers, uh -huh. and he made that rub. He, this is not how seasoning? Nope, it's a steak rub. All right, I'm gonna put these burgers in an air fryer. And uh, this is great if you kind of want to have friends or the kids over for uh, Memorial Day, but nobody's crazy about standing around the hot fire. This would be a great way to have burgers. Look how big that air fryer is. This air fryer is huge. But it's perfect because that's a family. It, you it, it is. Five. I use it every single solitary day. Okay, I'm gonna set that um, at 350. And then I'm gonna turn it past and then I'm gonna turn it back to five minutes. There we go, that's five minutes. And then I'm gonna flip them. And while we're waiting on those to cook, I'm going to take our puff pastry and I'm going to roll it just a little bit. We're going to stretch it out just a little bit. And y'all will have to excuse me, I've got to go get my rolling pin. Okay. I found my... <laughs> My rolling pin, I tell you what, we, we are truly living out of boxes at this house. So, it's a good thing I remembered where I put this rolling pin. So like I said, we're gonna. And you'll want your puff pastry to sit out at room temperature, y'all, for about, about 20 minutes. So, a puff pastry sheet is pretty thick. So let's see, Jamie tells me to cut it into triangles. So I guess we would go like this. Right? Is that enough to cover a burger all the way around? They're gonna shrink some, right? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. I'm, I was about to think well, I was by myself. Well, I, look, I was trying to look at the size that you're making them. Yeah, I think they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll stretch a little. So, we got three triangles. We got six burgers, don't we? Is that how many you ended up making? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it made, I think it was supposed to make 
five, but I got six. Well, of course you did. So, which makes me feel better <laughs> because I thought I was making them too big. But Look is at it, that, perfect. Mm -hmm. But as it turned out, I wasn't. Look, look at that, look at that. Who said I couldn't do it? You? I know, I, I said it. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna come over here. I've got an egg yolk. And I'm gonna put a little water in there. gonna beat that up because I want to brush the outside of our puff pastry with this yolk so it'll make it really brown and pretty. Okay. You're looking good. Can you get over here, Eddie? Don't this look good? Mm -hmm. Smells good too, doesn't it? So they're shrinking up a little bit for us. And they're holding this shape real good. All right, so five more minutes. So, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go ahead and brush these with the egg yolk. And that way I won't have to try to, try to cover them real good after I put the burger in there. I think that'll just make life a one little step easier. Our air fryer just donned. So I'm going to take these out and hopefully let them cool for, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully let them cool for a minute so I can touch them. Those cook so good in that air fryer. All right, now I've got uh, cheddar cheese and I cut it into four equal pieces because I didn't want a whole piece like hanging off of our burgers. So I could just kind of put it on like that and I'm giving each burger plenty of cheese. So if you got somebody at your house that's not a cheese eater, you'll want to make sure you leave that off of their burger. Well, kabow we Looks so good. Okay, I had some extra cheese left over. If you kids would like some. <laughs> it's pretty good, just like this. Don't have to wait and eat it on the burger. It's good. I can eat cheese. I like cheese too. Everybody likes cheese. All right. Now you saw I put that on upside down. Oh, here it is. And now I'm going to come in here <coughs> and dampen these edges. So it'll stick. And it doesn't too much matter how you wrap them, just as long as you get them wrapped. Okay, there we go. Just tuck it all around, just like that. And you'll just want to pinch it together like so. It may take a minute for you to work with it, but that looks really, really good. Okay, 
because this air fryer needs washing. I'm going to bake these off in the puff pastry in this nice clean one. But you know what? Even though this is non-stick, the non-stick finish, I will spray it just in case. We're almost there. Now, I, before I shut this, I wanted to make sure that I sprayed these very, very well. So I had sprayed them right before y'all got back in here. So I'm gonna move this temperature up to 400 degrees and I've set it on five minutes. And then I probably wind up flipping them over so the bottom can brown real good and then I'll spray the bottom again. But we're, we're gonna check in five minutes. So here we go. Waiting on five. Waiting on five. Eddie, I have flipped these three over and now I'm gonna flip the last three over uh, because I want the bottoms to be as pretty and brown as the tops. So we'll stick that back in. And uh, because this air fryer will go up to 430 degrees, I, I have moved it up to 430. And then I'm gonna do this for five more minutes. And then I'm gonna flip them back over and probably run them for another couple of minutes until they're kind of toasty brown. Okay, y'all, when I flip these over, I forgot to spray the underside. So I'm gonna do that right now and uh, these are looking so good. I see the cheese trying to poke out from there. All right, so like two more minutes and they will be edible. <laughs> now they're gonna be very, very hot, but you know what, Eddie? This beats the heck out of standing outside in 90 degree weather uh, with a hot grill, you know it? So we're gonna have something delicious to eat. And yeah, sometimes it, it rains on Memorial Day and it kinda, <laughs> it kinda it bums does. out people yeah, for their plans. it does. So I you wonder why that happens. Plan B. Cause everybody's yes. so excited about summer starting. Yep, well this is our plan B. Picnic in the house. And I kinda almost think it's better than plan, plan A. A. <laughs> it definitely had no sweating involved. No. Fat girls don't look cute when we sweat. I've noticed that. Okay. I would love to try that. I'll tell y'all how good it is, but that would pull the skin off of my teeth, off of the roof of my mouth. But I can eat a potato chip and eat a pickle. Mmm. So, you'll have to put your condiments on as you eat it because there's no, no condiments in, in your cheeseburger right now, but you can always dollop it on top. Have a dipping bowl. <laughs> yes, I will have dipping bowls out. Mmm. I want to bite so bad. Look at that. Oh, I want to buy it. I want to buy it. Mm. But I can't do it. <laughs> but I know for a fact I've eaten more than one of these, and I know that they're delicious. And I hope that you and your family enjoy them too. And uh, I want to wish everybody a very happy Memorial Day. It's creeping up on us. It's getting closer. So y'all just be safe and take care of one another and love each other. Speaking of love, love and best dishes, y'all. Right, pumpkin? Right, pumpkin? Yeah. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.